Laetitia. <rire> And uh, yes, so um, it's, a, it's a topic that took my attention and uh, I think uh, it's a good opportunity to, uh, to get exactly, uh, I don't know if you are user of uh, that kind of uh, new frameworks, and, but uh, yeah, it's, it's really, really a good, a good reason uh, to, uh, to, to put to the bin the, all the pods and dependency we, we've got on the, on the way that we display chart uh, currently. So yes, <laughs> uh, women who code and, uh, and uh, Van Moof uh, iOS uh, in Amsterdam. Uh, so the content, uh, so an overview of what uh, we, we are going to, to see today. So first, uh, talking general about uh, charts and uh, what they are. That's why I say it's so charming. Uh, and then uh, we are going to focus more on the sweet charts and uh, how it's working uh, in detail. In details, and uh, I uh, will give you some example of how we can use it in a uh, uh, in not in project, but not all my point of view. I I make uh, a, a short a short uh, development on it, but also people uh, uh, who also develop things. Uh, and uh, for that, I will give all the references that I uh, mention at the end of the of this uh, presentation. And all the repositories that you uh, that the, it's based on. Um, also, you will have the uh, the uh, ability at the end to ask question, but maybe also give your opinion on it. And uh, if you if you have something, you you say okay, you not mention that, just share with everybody. And uh, also um, and. Uh, Give me the feedback after the after the talk. If you find there is way that uh, okay, that bullshit what you said, it's that don't work, it doesn't work. So yeah, please write me uh, on uh, Twitter or LinkedIn or Twitter, no, bleh, um, Mastodon, uh, uh, LinkedIn or. Um, so first, uh, yeah, why Swift charts? For the, it's really simple. It's, uh, this talk is not uh, complicated at all. The goal is to, yes, to, to show simple things. And so Sweet Chart is part, it's part of that simplicity. Uh, also, when you, have, when you import uh, charts in uh, your application, it's uh, so, so easy to understand. So yeah, we, we really need to use it. And uh, even if it's, it's only uh, in iOS 16, but uh, it will be the, the future. Um, also, it gives a lot of flexibility because it's SwiftUI. Sorry for Jeremy. And, uh, but uh, it's give a lot of flexibility in your application. Uh, also, yeah, accessibility. Wow. Uh, I know it's a topic in a in lot of companies that uh, they don't mind <laughs> accessibility. Uh, and but uh, it's so easy to add accessibility in our uh, fixture uh, with SwiftUI, obviously. And so SwiftChart, SwiftUI are, are, yeah, are based on the, the same same things, the same vibe. So accessibility is only a, a, a really really good reason to to use SwiftChart. Uh, maintainability, if it is flexible, if it is uh, simple, uh, so. Uh, yeah, it's also linked to maintainability. So let's go it. Yeah, we should. Um, what it is exactly, switch out. It's, uh, it's uh, yeah, it gives data visualization. Um, so yeah, it uh, allow you to show different data depending on your uh, application, obviously. But I'm pretty sure in yeah, in all the application, then something to display with with uh, with data in the background. Uh, the cool thing also, it's uh, available on all platforms, uh, and uh, watch OS, <laughs> yeah, and uh, also all the other platform. It's uh, 
it's it's here so with the new xcode it's it's like a, yeah it's like a dream uh also i'm uh, yeah i think it's if if there is no more n dependency like ports or packages uh, uh, yeah it we could minimize the cost uh to uh, the, the time that we spend on it and uh, all the the other things like I told about maintainability, so yeah, you, you, we could minimize cost. Uh, yeah, it's great also because there is a deep level of customization. I will show you in the in the follow example, and um, you, it makes things easier. It's uh, automatically uh, uh, provide uh, axes, legends, and uh, so the the job is done. So. <laughs> So it's uh, it's really uh, really interesting. So deep level of customization and also road uh, solid structural approaches means uh, uh, it's easy to uh, to implement and to move in other view or to implement uh, uh, data and uh, so it's it's for the the, the architecture. It's a, it's a, it's a really good friend. Um, be also because it's in SwiftUI and uh, it's from Apple, <laughs> so it's easy to share and easy to manipulate uh, outside of the of your view. Uh, for 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 those also who do do not know yet uh, SwiftUI, I'm not sure there is someone here in the world who who do not know SwiftUI. So here it's like a Russian doll. As always, uh, you import charts, so you've got a struct, it's a view, and you've got a body, and inside this body you just have to call charts, and after that there is a different way of, of use, uh, implement the data, but the, yeah, the basic one is to, to put just after charts uh, the, the, the data and uh, iterate with an element. And then in the blue blue part, you have the different mark. So for that case, it's bar mark, and uh, it's show the data through uh, coordinate. So you must specify this why you declare the mark. So here you can see that there is uh, x and y, and so it's after that you put the value, and the goal is to be able to plot. Uh, to plot your uh, your your graph, so the the this part which is plotable is a struct, and uh, so you pass the the coordinate in the in the marks, in which uh, we we you could uh, associate a label. Here it's uh, it's called sales and uh, and name. It's called sales because I uh, for for the purpose of the example, I use uh, uh, wine. Uh, I, I automatically I do not think about a scooter or mobility, but uh, wine. I don't know why, <laughs> so I put says and name of wine. Uh, yeah, um, just a little warning regarding the implementation. Um, Swift charts loves UI kit project, and uh, I I heard a lot of things on Swift UI, and uh, I heard that it is not uh, good to put in production, uh, and uh, it's, it's still in beta. And if you have references on that things that I heard, I I'm not able to find references on it, but it's in production. Uh, we I use it every day in production, and. Yeah, it's not uh, it's not uh, a binary between uh, uh, UIKit or SwiftUI and Swift Charts is the uh, same family of SwiftUI. It's much, and uh, when you have a feature, uh, when you when you have, uh, I think on my point of view, uh, point of view that when you have a feature, you you it's easier to do it in SwiftUI. But when it's not possible, you use UIKit. Sometimes it's it will be difficult to, to develop in SwiftUI. So the same for Swift Charts. Uh, uh, yeah, so, but it's easy to implement in a UI kit project 
uh, Swift UI, Swift chart, uh, chart, chart development. So it's yeah, it's not a, a reason not to do it. And um, the second warning, I could say it's the floor. The floor is moving. I mean, uh, if you if it's not possible today to develop something uh, to display because it's more display data, Swift charts. Maybe it will be possible tomorrow because the floor with Apple the floor is moving. So uh, it's important not to not to be yeah, not to stop because it's not possible today. Um, and uh, yeah, the the third point is to there's so much modif modifier in the in the which you can play in the Swift UI also in Swift Chart. So yes, the the good thing is to if you think. Uh, it's not possible. <coughs> ask the other. Ask uh, in the, all the community, uh, and uh, so maybe there is a modifier for that. And uh, before it, it was there is enough for that, and now it could be there is a modifier for that. So yes, it's that kind of warning. Um, yes. Yeah, so to be to to go in the yeah in the details of this uh, of Swift charts, it's declarative framework so it's based on swift ui and uh, if even if you do not use swift ui uh, in uh, your daily uh, basic uh, development uh, you can uh, directly uh, um, yeah use it you can directly use it it's uh, it's ready to start and i was thinking thinking uh, regarding another another talk uh, is it yeah? Is it uh, with uh, Danigella, uh, the the table? Is it easy to start uh, learning UI kit when we start with Swift UI? I think also. Uh, I think no. I think when you start with Swift UI, it's it's really difficult to to understand UI kit. But yeah. So, but if you know UI kit, you can start with Swift charts. And uh, also, yeah, it's decorative framework, so you you can benefit of the asynchronous vibe. I call it I call it asynchronous vibes, and I will give example on it uh, later. So yeah, it's re it's really cool. Uh, the second thing is yeah, that uh, the single detail thing is that you you can plot the 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 data in a in a really cool way, so you can uh, compose. Uh, your, uh, you can display compose in a different, uh, uh, in different way with, as I said, also mo modifiers, and uh, you can compose. I don't know. I don't know yet which one is not possible to to make. But uh, yeah, maybe maybe you will uh, you will tell uh, after that. Yeah, this one is not possible, and uh, so also you. Uh, uh, it's. Uh, it's really really fast the, to handle the data with uh, with that uh, switch charts. I will give an example, and uh, just to give uh, also an overview of what it's called marks. So in switch charts, all the visual elements uh, are called marks, and uh, so here are the different type of charts. And I will I will show you uh, all the 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 the, the different uh, shots which is currently possible. So yeah, the one which is called Apple Shots, and uh, for the iPhone iPhone storage, the screen time, <laughs> simple one, <laughs> and uh, also uh, um, with. Uh, References on it, you can give. Yeah, it's so it's so it's so it's so easy uh, to animate uh, the 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 line and the, the sorry, oops, oops, oops. Yeah, and uh, yeah, animate the line and uh, you can uh, also show different gradients, multiple lines, single bar. Multiple bar, pyramid, timesheet bar, sound bar, area bar, mark, depending on what you want to display. 
head maps. This one is with point mark. Also this one for the, is there is a, this kind of uh, chart in the sailing uh, application. And uh, yeah, now uh, I will uh, show you example, uh, simple chart, uh, bunch of amazing charts, uh, also focus on how easy it is to give accessibility to to the to your charts one week complex data and also an example with uh, data and the two to i hope it will works <laughs> uh, to 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 play data and uh, to to show how speed it is so as i said at the end, I, there is uh, a slide on all the references and uh, of the people who have uh, who have developed or that uh, the and all the GitHub uh, repository uh, from the the people who developed the the example. So here, a simple application. Uh, with uh, the sale of uh, the wine sale between Paris and Amsterdam and uh, yes so I start with this one maybe for you and for me yeah easier okay so I prefer now with the new Xcode it's really really good to have the, s the Mac yeah, I know it's an iOS conference, <laughs> watchOS conference, but uh, yeah, to to launch a simulator in the in the Mac macOS, it's uh, really fast. Sorry, it's in the nozzle display. So fast and uh, yeah, and uh, really good. Um, so here. You can have just to see you simple, simple chart, the kind of chart that you, yet you can develop. And the code is this one. So as I show here, you've got just the chart, the bar mark, and uh, you can add I had a, a, a toolbar, but just for fun. And uh, you have the value the same, and you can display really in few lines of codes your your data. Um, a more interesting, more interesting, a more with more data with more things is another example. I will do it in that way. And uh, it uh, it's yeah it's based on the on the, it's called a URL with on the um, baby charts and the the fun thing is there is my name on it so I was yeah I was really astonishing <laughs> so same thing if uh, I show you the code. Uh, here, so you have the chart, yeah, you call the data, yeah, and here they have chosen to use a for each and not the data directly uh, in the in the in the chart at the beginning because uh, yeah they want to use different kind of data for different uh, kind of graph. So you've got the area mark and also the rule mark. And if I launch it, Oop. sorry, the simulator is launching <coughs> in the other screen. So now with data, <laughs> when we call the data, it's much better. So you can see here, <laughs> it is written my name, fun. But it is not my age, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> not at all. So uh, yes, so. A nice, really nice uh, display of uh, the uh, information. So, in order to show that, yeah, it 
could be a simple graph, but also uh, uh, amazing. I could say amazing one. I think it's amazing. But, uh, and uh, for that, if, for example, yeah, I show an example of, for example, I show an example, a modifier, this one, the foreground style. I will comment the foreground style. And you will see the, the difference. Poof. Maybe not you who ah. sorry wow. you can see the difference just with a modifier, so yeah, really uh, really interest interesting to play, <laughs> I would say to play with uh, all the modifier and you can add. A notation. Uh, you can change obviously the the style, and there is a lot of things to manipulate to have the the the, the good result that uh, your designer asks you to to make. Uh, so this is an example, and another example would be. Whoop. So this example is with uh, accessibility. So again, you have the app, and uh, in this case, in this case, the, the the data are stored in the in the in the application in the computer. We do not call the data. So um, you can see this one with the detail. If I take yeah, you've got the data, you've got the model, everything is open, and for example, the earth bait. Yeah, here you have, maybe I can show you. It's, it's the one that I show you before regarding her beat. And so still, maybe I'm too fast to show. But you will have all the time to, to see it later <laughs> by, by yourself. So here, just to show how easy accessibility is, just three lines. Yeah, hey, at least. So yeah, this example, just three lines, just to, you, you have the, the number which is display, what it is related to, so yeah, there's, it's so easy. Um, this no, is it easy or not? Yes, just to show how simple it's. Not, yeah, use it, <laughs> and um, all the 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 other example, for example, line charts also I are available in this example. So it's really easy to uh, to manipulate by yourself third point was uh, my uh, uh, accessibility complex data and uh, play with data and speed yes the last one is also really interesting and uh, this one yeah so here little bit more technical regarding the sound, but there's a lot of people who are experts on it. But my goal is not to play with uh, sound uh, things, but only to show that if you believe it is not, uh, we, if you believe it's SwiftUI and SwiftChart are not fast, it's false, it's fast. I hope it will work. So uh, uh, if I end, uh, yeah, we should just launch. People succeed. So uh, it's play with uh, the music and the display. If it yeah. 
liked it. <laughs> and so here, obviously you have the processing of the audio, but just my goal is to show that you can check how fast it is to the, 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 to the link between the data and the, the display with switch arts. Mm. Yes, and uh, if now, if uh, is switch out in which case it is not ideal, uh, maybe with a more complex layout, if you have example, maybe some of you are today or later, in case that it's not working out at all, or it's too complex to, to, to develop with. Or, and the second thing that I found is uh, maybe the transitioning costs. And uh, because if, if it's working, don't touch it's working uh, in, the, in the code, uh, maybe it, uh, it's, it's not really a good thing to, to transition to switch arts, I'm not convinced. But I try to, to think about uh, negative points. So do you have some, some in mind, in your minds? <laughs> so here you can find all the, oops, sorry, all the resources and the references, obviously the, the Apple documentation, and the two, two uh, dub dub uh, of this year's and uh, and uh, the first one of the GitHub is uh, from uh, Jordi, and it's really interesting because you can uh, uh, show the resources, but also contribute to uh, to the uh, repository. And uh, it's uh, it's really interesting also to give your knowledge and uh, share. And so it's possible there is uh, issues on this repository and you can take one and make a pull request. So if you have any question, it's a question time. <laughs> okay. So who here has a question? Oh, that's going to be fun. <laughs> Sorry, Ida. Thanks. Hey, thanks for the presentation. Uh, I had a question. Do you know that if uh, Swift Charge maybe has a limit in the amount of points? Let's say you have a chart which requires 200,000 points or even a million. I don't know. Yes, it's a good question. Yeah, I have to check yeah, for this information. Yeah. The limit of the data uh, to display. Yeah. You can change a lot of uh, scale. So, yeah, maybe there is a limit. I don't know. Cool, I thanks. will note. <laughs> Thank you. Any other questions? Uh. <laughs> 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 you. Poor Mike, I hope it's okay. Um, thanks very much. Great talk. Um, my question is around the interactivity with Swift charts. Like, have you used bits where you can like people can drag or tap on them? What what are you, what do you think are really interesting ways you could use interactivity? Is there limitations that you found? Because um, I immediately want to do interactive stuff with it, I, and I'm just curious what your experience with that has been. Uh, yes, the thing is that iOS 16 is not fully uh, developed with uh, interactivity. Uh, in uh, uh, I. Uh, I saw a lot of problem with uh, with interactivity interactivity with the phone uh, currently, uh, but uh, the best thing that I find is the accessibility uh, with uh, the 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 charts. Yeah, I think it's really really so so easy, so fast, and so 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 Apple development. It's it's Apple framework, so it's really 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 uh, interesting the way that uh, it could be. To touch the phone and it answer voiceover. I mean, when I I was thinking about voiceover. Thanks. Anyone else? There's another one. <laughs> That's gonna be <laughs> the head. The head. <laughs> Target. <you. laughs>
thank you. Are there any good backports of that for earlier iOS versions? Are there some attempts to do that? If I want to use it now and have to support older versions. So. Uh, the, the, the last one, yeah. yeah. You need to have iOS 16. Yeah, but yeah. Um, are there any known third-party backports as we had in the old days, for, for example, Collection View, where you had a drop-in replacement that had a similar or API that you could use instead? Is there something like that for this Swift Charts project yet? Yeah, that yeah. you could use instead of Swift yeah. Charts? Yeah, so. there is a, the f famous dependency that is called Chart. Yeah, but it's not, it doesn't have the same API, does it? True, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, I, I, I don't know if there is a, an equivalent in, the, in this API. Okay. That's, okay, um, then I guess that's the final question. Uh, thank you. <laughs> and thank you to Betty, of course.